Hey there, this is another episode of the New Product Friday videos. My name is Steph. And I'm Jasper. And uh, let's see what we have here. Yeah, let's start with this one here in the middle. Piazza de Resistance. The, yeah, well, not a whole lot of resistance actually, <laughs> because it opened quite <laughs> smoothly. Oh God, this is <laughs> it's only the start. This is the um, giant mouse um, Ace Tribeca in titanium with a CPM magna cut blade and a brass backspacer. So what do you think of this one? It's lovely. The fit, the, the feel, the, the sound of the locking mechanism. Um, you're more into the steel types than I am, um, but this looks amazing. What yeah, do you so, think? Yeah, it's really sturdy. It's really, um, uh, I, when we just had a look at these knives, I used the term over-engineered because it's really uh, solid uh, titanium uh, handle scales. And then it has a very, um, hefty bro uh, bronze or brass uh, backspacer, but it also has steel liners on the inside. Um, the stop pin construction is really clever. It's pressed into the blade and then it's uh, supported by both sides of the handle. So this is a really good over-engineered knife used uh, or designed to use very intensively. So I really like this. We didn't get a whole lot of these, uh, which is more or less my catchphrase on these videos uh, these days. Um, but if you want to get one of these, then you have to be there quick because I can imagine these sell up within a day in our web shop. <laughs> so let's uh, hop on over to uh, Benchmade. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, this is the Benchmade tagged out. We had the nice uh, bright orange version uh, a while back. This one is just as light as the orange version, but then with a bit more of a discreet color on it. It's really light. Yeah. Yeah, it's really lightweight and it's really like, you could probably weight wise, you could fit like three of those into one of these. Yeah. So that's just a, a color variation of one we already had. Yeah. One that I'm personally pretty excited about is the 945-1. I think the, the 940 that everyone knows has been a bestseller for uh, Benchmade and for us for years now. Yeah. And we already had the 940-1. That's the carbon fiber version with an S90V blade. And now they also made this mini Osborne, the 945 in the same configuration. And what I like is the nice contrasting blue uh, standoffs over here. Um, I just really like the form factor. I think um, the blade shape, they call it a reverse tanto. Um, it's a really useful blade shape because you do have a bit of belly, you have a bit of straight edge, you have a nice pointy tip. You can, especially in the 945 size, you can actually reach the, reach the tip with the point of your index finger to do precision work. I really like this. Yeah. It's really lightweight as well. And I like what they do with the with the colors too. I really like the old one too, the, the green one with the purple accents. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's on my, I mean, I'm gonna get a 940 one day. It might be a 945 as well. I really like that. How many knives do you have? At home? Yeah. 100 plus. 100 plus. Yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but more than we can cover in a video like this. Okay. Yeah. But talking about Benchmade, we have some more news. We had ah, a yes. giant restock of the Benchmade uh, Worksharp exclusive. Um, the nice one in 20CV. Uh, this is my personal one. I've been using it for six months or so. So I get the first patina on the nice Cerakote, but the coating is holding up really well. We've got our final resupply of these. So if you want to get one of these, they're a really good deal currently. Um, get them while they're hot because I expect them to sell out within a month. Action is great. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, especially because this one has been used a bit and mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. smooth and it's it's got no play or anything. It's, yeah, I can't stop playing with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buy this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> on to Switzerland. Yes, yes, All right. a neutral knife. So this Here is the uh, Victorinox Venture. It's their, um, an all-round outdoor bushcrafty knife. I mean, mm. it's useful for bushcraft, but it's got a full flat grind uh, blade. The uh, blade shape is, is uh, uh, special. Yeah, it almost looks like a Skinner type of blade shape. Yeah. I think you normally name this a spare point or a drop butter point ish. <laughs> yeah, butter knife ish. <laughs> um, it's got the nice uh, serration or the, the jimping at the tip. Yeah. I was gonna ask you what it was for, but I saw you with the previous knife, so you use it you like that. You can use it like yeah. that, but yeah. you can also, if you so do we... like bushcraft cuts <clears throat> and you have like a piece of, imagine this is wood, you can also use that for control with your thumb yeah. on, the, on the back of the blade. Quite coarse jimping, right? Yeah, this is pretty, yeah. And the, the, the edges of the blade on the spine are pretty sharp as well for use with a fire steel that will work. So it's got a nice ambidextrous sheath, so you can Put it in either way, it doesn't matter. And it's got this extra bit of security on there as well. And then there's a belt loop in here as well. 
put it in your belt, put it in your backpack. Um, it does rattle a little. Yeah, it, it rattles quite a bit. Yeah, so I would only feel comfortable with the extra loop on it. But I think it's interesting that Victorinox tried to do something new. And something I also noticed is that the layered hole in the um, back of the blade, it's actually a hexagon. So you could use this uh, in conjunction with a, a screw bit. So if you have to screw something down, I would probably put the sheath on it though. <laughs> <For it. laughs> Um, but it's like a multifunctional thing, like they could have just drilled a round hole. Yeah. And so it's a bit of extra function. But it's cool, it's nice to see Victor and Luke venture out into new areas. I mean, everyone knows their kitchen knives by now, they know the, 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 the Swiss Army knife, of course. So it's nice that they have some more now, after the Outdoor Master that they released a couple of years ago. Yeah. And it's Swiss made still, so. Next we have some folding knives by Victorinox as well. Yes. Victorinox Evoke series. What, what feelings do these knives evoke with you? Uh, uh, not a real fan of the backlog in general. Uh, yeah. Not a fan of the uh, coating too. To get that out of the way, the feel of the, the knife, it's pretty big, but it still feels with the contours, it feels pretty nice in the hand. With some of these versions, you get a, uh, a lanyard yeah. uh, with it too. Yeah, not with all of them though. I really like the, 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 the color gradient on this one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the backlog, it's one of the one of the OG locking mechanisms, really sturdy and they really take some abuse. What I do like is that the handles have this nice area that they normally use yeah. for the uh, yearly limited edition uh, bits. At Knife Stills you can order it with an engraving, so you can put your name on there or a date or whatever. Name of your kids, which makes them great gifts as well. So, Victorinox Evoke. And now onto some cheese stuff. We have some new products by Bosca. Let's start off with the... Uh, <laughs> proverbial elephant in the room. <laughs> uh, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, that's a really nice cheese knife to cut a wheel of cheese. But apparently you just told me it's not made for cheese. It's not made for cheese. It's a pizza knife. It's a pizza knife. If you forget to uh, cut your takeaway pizza for you, then you can use this pizza knife with nice oak wood handles, which I is something I do appreciate. Yes, exactly. Um, and we have a uh, Italian uh, colleague, I think, that would say that we would burn in hell if we use this on an actual on a pizza. pizza. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> this is a cheese knife, another pizza knife. I do think with a pizza of 30 centimeters, it would work yeah. quite nicely. Um, yeah. yeah, oak handles, feels quite sturdy. Yeah. They also have a nice quality pizza wheel yeah. uh, thingy over here. So this is really nice with the full tang handle, oak uh, handle scales, uh, not for the dishwasher, as you can see over here. I mean, it's a pretty cool design. It's nice oak handles and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's nicer than the stuff you would normally pick up. Uh, definitely, yeah. definitely sturdier, will last a lifetime and don't put it in the dishwasher. Yeah. Don't put it in the dishwasher. Yeah. That's really important. And there's a set of steak knives to go with these as well. Or steak, I think they say on the packaging over here, it's for meat, fish, and veggies. A set of four, and it's got the same patterning on the blade. It will probably help with food release as well, to make sure that the product you're cutting is not sticking to the blade as much. And again, the full tang handle. So those are pretty cool. And then there's a nice cheese knife set for on, your, on the table. Yeah. If you're having a beer, yeah. sausage. Soft cheeses, nice. hard cheeses. Yeah, yep. spreading knife as well for the really soft cheeses. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I use products like this if I'm having a beer with friends in the weekend. And I use this a lot. Yeah. It's the cheese slicer. Yep. We got this uh, for Christmas a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah, I can talk like for half an hour about this, but... <laughs> You're I passionate really, about cheese, we know I, that. I'm passionate about cheese, yes. You are too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, I have a cheese anecdote about uh, Jasper too. This one time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This one time I uh, uh, went on holiday on one of the Dutch islands and he said, hey, you need to go to this cheese bunker. <laughs> so I went to the cheese bunker and it was, was a, <laughs> a really good tip from him. Uh, they had amazing cheeses and it was uh, really cool. So if you have cheese related uh, tourist uh, activity uh, requests, so put them in the comments below and they will help you out. <laughs> uh, okay, talk about curveballs. Yes. Um, we oh, have our final product. Oh, yeah. One. Small fondue pans, They're really nice. Um, what uh, you, if you have a pocket knife on you when uh, using the fondue pot, what you need to do is indicate which one is for you. Carve your uh, uh, initial in it, so you know that someone else is not stealing your goods when you have them. Yeah. Uh, really smart. Yeah. 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 Or if you happen to have a couple of colors of paint or anything, it's just. <laughs> dip it into the paint and then it's yours as well. Yeah, and wait in between because yeah, then you have yeah. to paint in the cheese, which uh, <laughs> tastes horrible. Yeah, I'm a fan of blue cheese, but that's <laughs> <laughs> to the next level. 
Okay, so back to the curveball, the Nightcore Bubble for you. They market this as like a camping-ish light. It's got a magic, uh, magnetic, <laughs> magic. <laughs> it's got a magic magnetic snap over here. Ooh. You can use to uh, hang it and you can also use it to hang it on something, which is pretty out of metal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's, it's got a really nice touch interface to adjust the brightness. It's really cool. And it works on either a proprietary Nightcore battery or on three normal alkaline batteries. Yeah. And they're pretty affordable as well. So you can afford to get a couple, uh, decorate your garden, put it up in your tent, perhaps as the interior lighting in your tent if you go camping. And when I, when I first saw the photos, I was afraid that this would be like really prone to fracturing. Uh, to breaking, but it's actually it's really flexible. So if you drop it, if the magnet doesn't hold, then it actually can take a little bit of a hit. And they will also be coming out with some additional diffusers on it. So you can have more light, uh, or at least more diffuse light on it. Wouldn't mind having this in the garden. No. I mean, it's a lot easier than having stuff with wires and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to get out of your own knife bubble, then you can come into our knife bubble <laughs> on Saturday, September 2nd for Have a Knives Day in Apeldoorn in the Netherlands. Definitely a few tickets left still for the afternoon session. Yeah, the morning yeah. is sold out. Yes, yes. Really happy with that. What can I expect? Uh, a freaking cool goodie bag yeah. uh, to start off with. Uh, free coffee, all the coffee you want. Um, <laughs> an awesome hamburger, workshops, great deals. A really great deals. Yeah, yeah, a sharpness contest with a prize um, sponsored by WeKnife. Uh, our uh, colleague Leon will teach you how to sharpen on stones. Joey and different sharpening methods. Yeah, you definitely. can try them out for yourself. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a line of five uh, work sharp can onion editions, and Joey will teach you how to get your knife sharp in ten seconds. Knife or, X, or, whatever. So a lot of cool stuff. Um, a few tickets left. Be quick. So I would say, cut into your weekends and we'll be off and see you next time. Bye.